Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Eric Haney. Here today we have the finals of the recent League Cup that I got to go attend at Cape Fear Games in Wilmington, North Carolina. So if you guys did miss it, we actually did upload a top eight and a top four match already. So if you guys do wanna see those games, we'll be sure to have links down below in the description for you to check them out. So we have kind of an interesting finals. Uh, I think one you probably wouldn't have maybe expected to see at this League Cup. But over on the left, we have Carl Satavi. He's going to be playing like a Vile Plume, like Control, like Stall deck. And then over on the right, we have Gerald Pruitt, who's playing Malamar. But it's not Ultra Necrozma. It's more of like a non-GX focused version of the deck with spell tags and things like that. Uh, here, unfortunately for Gerald, he is opening with Necrozma GX. This is definitely going to be, I think, one of the worst starters he could have possibly asked for definitely not a very good card in this matchup uh, just because most of the time Carl is going to have things like vile plume in play which uh, you know the crossbow is not the most effective attacker against non GX's so very unfortunate he did have to start this so no doubt Gerald knows what he's playing against going into this finals match and he's probably just trying to think, you know, how do I actually go about dealing with this? Because this Vile Plume, if you guys aren't familiar with it, has an ability where basic Pokemon can't attack it. So he's going to have to get a little bit creative with how he's going to, to win this one. So luckily for him, he does have Malamar at his disposal, which is a stage one. Malamar is not the greatest of attackers, but, you know... You know, doing 60 damage every turn in conjunction with Spell Tag, you know, he can maybe get there. And if he can pick off a couple of Pokemon along the way before these Vile Plumes get set up, he might have a shot at actually winning this one. But, um, so we'll have to see what line of play he is going to take in this matchup here. Another key card that's going to be very important is going to be that Let Loose Mars Shadow as well. Uh, I think we did see it in his opening hand. So if he can maybe time that right in the course of this game, that might potentially get him where he needs to go and uh, maybe disrupt his opponent. Here he's just going to go and play it right away. I'm not sure if I actually like this though. I would much rather see Gerald save the Mars Shadow for after Carl uses something like a Steven's Resolve or maybe an Alolan Vulpix. Um, he might play more than one Mars Shadow. I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. If he has an additional Mars Shadow in the deck, I don't completely hate this play but I think I would have rather have seen him save it for after Carl plays a card that refreshes his hand so let's see we're gonna see a pokey gear from Carl a new card we got in unbroken bonds let's just look at the top seven cards of a deck and get a supporter and so here he's eyeing down that Steven's resolve we'll have to see if he's gonna play it he might even opt to uh, try his other Poke Gear and try to get a Professor Elm's Lecture. So we'll have to see what route he's going to go here. So he's just going to go all in on the Steven's Resolve, though. Uh, that way he can find himself where Kenny Bile Plume. And this is what I was kind of talking about, guys. I wanted to see Gerald save that Marsh Shadow for after Carl did a play like this. He could reset Carl's hand back down to four and disrupt him a little bit and try to prevent him from getting set up. Because I think if Gerald can take a couple of easy, cheap prizes... At the beginning of the game, I think between all of his Malamars and Spell Tags, he should have enough outs to, I think, dealing with some Vile Plumes throughout the rest of the game. So I have to see uh, how this is going to kind of unfold. No doubt this is going to be kind of an awkward game that we have here, though. So let's see. Um, you know, another thing I really don't like here is that Gerald does have the Spell Tag on this Necrozma. I would have rather maybe seen him save... Uh, that tool to go on a Malamar and or, you know, leave space on this Necrozma for uh, an escape board to maybe more easily get it to be able to retreat. So we'll have to see if he is able to pull off an attack this turn, because like I said, Gerald really needs to, I think, take some easy cheap prizes, uh, you know, before Carl can get all these Vile Plumes online. So we're going to see an Ultra Ball and a Lele. So you're probably going to see a Malamar and then a um, probably just a Lily to refresh his hand. So Gerald is starting to get set up. You know, it is unfortunate he does have this Necrozma in the active spot, but nevertheless he's still able to draw cards, able to get his evolutions going. So. And okay, I see a switch in hand. I think I saw another spell tag. So I think if I'm in, if I'm in Gerald's spot, you know, kind of the game plan I would be opting for is, you know, take one or two easy prizes before Carl gets set up. 
uh, you know, use your Malamars and spell tags to take some knockouts on Vile Plumes, and then the Vile Plumes are actually going to have to two shot you, and then save your GX attack for Tapu Cure GX to heal off a lot of the 60 damages that uh, the Vile Plume is going to put on Malamars. So I think that's kind of the game plan here. And here we're just going to see Gerald starting to power up a Giratina and a pass over to Carl. So no doubt we're going to see uh, a Candy Vile Plume hit the board. So here, Carl is going to discard that Team Skull Grunt uh, with Gerald's Viridian Forest. It's going to allow him to search his deck for a basic energy, put it into his hand. So he does play, it looks like, one grass energy in the deck. So he can start to attempt to set up a Vile Plume to actually start attacking. And it looks like we see a Green's Exploration in Carl's hand, so he might... Uh, want to use that while he still doesn't have any Pokemon with abilities in play. But here he's going to play a Poke Gear first, and probably he's going to grab that Professor Elm's Lecture. And then Carl might be thinking, hmm, do I want to play the Lecture or do I want to play the Greens here? So I think it's going to be better to play the Greens just because once he gets this Vile Plume up, you know, he's not going to have access to this card any longer. So let's see what he's going to opt to grab here. He has a lot of options. So of course Green's Exploration allows him to search his deck for any two trainer cards as long as he has no Pokemon with abilities in play. So he's, looks like he's eyeing himself down a Nest Ball. Looks like a Nest Ball and a Steven's Resolve that could be decent here. So we are going to see the Nest Ball. What's he going to get? Okay, so he's going to go for another Oddish here. Seems good. So if uh, you know Carl can force Gerald to, to deal with three vile plumes throughout the course of a game, that might be kind of tricky here. And then we're gonna see a rare candy vile plume to the active, and then probably just a pass afterwards. So here you can see Gerald's having to read this vile plume just to check out what it does. So let's see. We're gonna see a lily from Gerald here. And Gerald might be thinking, you know, what do I actually want to do here? Who do I want to power up? You know, if he has if he has Guzmas, I wouldn't mind even seeing him power up the Giratina and you know preparing to take a couple of easy prizes before pivoting into these Malamars. That could be good. So let's see uh, if Gerald can do anything else this turn. He can, of course, recharge again. Here you can see he is starting to power up a Malamar. And he is going to switch into Malamar, but he only has two energy on it. So I don't know if that was a misplay from Gerald's part or what. Okay, but but he but he has an energy to, to attach. Okay. So here we're just going to see 60 damage come down onto the Vile Plume. Uh, little does Gerald know, uh, Carl actually plays Last Chance Potion, <laughs> which is a card I, I don't think I would ever see, like, unironically see play. Uh, but if you guys are unfamiliar with Last Chance Potion, it'll probably come down on this next turn. But it allows you to heal 120 from one of your Pokemon. I believe it's with 30 damage or less on it. Or 30 damage, or I'm sorry, 30 HP remaining or less. So after this Malamar attacks to it again, he can just heal off all of that damage which is hilarious uh, but here it looks like Carl is just gonna opt to go for a Steven's Resolve probably maybe grab another rare candy vile plume maybe an energy that could be an option as well so let's see what he wants to get off the Steven's here I did not get a good look at what those three cards were but no doubt we are we are gonna see them come down next turn here, Gerald is going to Viridian away another Giratina. Definitely a good target to throw in the discard pile uh, for another Psychic Energy. So let's see where he is going to get it down. So if I'm in his spot, again, I actually if I have access to Guzma, I actually want to see him take some easy knockouts on these Oddishes while he still has you know, access to knocking them out with something that isn't a Malamar. But here we're just going to see another Lily, so maybe he didn't even have access to a Guzma. And here, we're just going to see another 60 come down on this Vile Plume. And here comes the Last Chance Potion, no doubt. First, Carl is going to go for a Lusamine. Just to, looks like he's just going to take a turn to kind of reset up his hand. Going for just two Steven's Resolves here. And 
We're going to see, looks like a unit energy come down and then a life chance potion. <laughs> and here you can see Gerald has to like uh, take a hard look at the card. He's like, what in the world is this that just got played against me? <laughs> and so we're just going to see another pass from Carl here. So he's taking his time getting set up. And here this is a situation, like I said, uh, I think Gerald can actually afford to knock out one of these Oddish this turn we saw the Guzma in his hand so that's really what I want to see him do I want to see him pick off these Oddishes while he still has access to some easy prizes with some of his non Malamar Pokemon so I we'll have to see uh, what he's gonna do here You can see he's a little bit torn about what he wants to do, and he is looking like he is starting to charge up a Giratina, so maybe he is uh, thinking about going for the Guzma. Okay, yeah, that looks like what he's doing, and I have to say I do like this play. So here we're going to see the four damage counters. Or I'm sorry, the, the attack, and the four damage counters are going to come down on this Necrozma from the Shadow Impact attack, I believe it's called, on the Giratina does make it to where you do need to put four damage counters on one of your Pokemon. It's probably safe on the Necrozma. Probably not a big deal being there. So let's see. It looks like Carl's just going for another Steven's Resolve. Like I said, taking his time getting set up here. And if Gerald can, I do want to see another Guzma on this, on this Oddish. If he does have uh, the means of making it happen here. And here you can see he has another last chance potion he is grabbing out of the deck. So this man is not playing around with Malamar. <laughs> and here we're going to see a psychic recharge coming out on this bench Malamar. We're going to see spell tag come down. I think I would have rather have seen the spell tag get held onto for the moment. Um, just because Carl's not threatening a, a knockout this turn. So he's kind of giving so Gerald's kind of giving Carl another turn to potentially find a Faba or find a field blower or something like that to strip away the spell tag would have rather have seen it come down on the following turn whenever the Malamar is threatened of being knocked out so we're going to see another rare candy come down so he has two vile plumes set up now and Carl strategy is finally starting to come together this is probably going to be his last Stevens resolve before starting to attack again and so it looked like he was eyeing himself down some energy. He does have counter gain in the deck. We could see that potentially come down. He could attach that to the active vile plume to start attacking with that and then attach an energy for turn to the bench. That could be good. So at this point, I mean, I don't think Gerald really needs to play many cards from his hand. He does have Cynthia, but his deck's getting a little bit low at this point, and he might just run out of resources before he can win. So yeah, I like that just hanging on to his hand there. I think that'll be fine. Here he's just going to smack that Bible yet again for 60, but little does he know there's a second last chance potion coming. Okay, so we're gonna see a unit energy come down here and a last chance potion. This is, uh, <laughs> I never thought I would see two last chance potion be played in the finals of any of any tournament so this has definitely been an interesting uh deck that carl has here here we're gonna see a bill's analysis this is a nice card in this situation because he can find some more cards out of his deck without ending his turn so he is going to go for a surge here and a rescue stretcher so surge is definitely going to be good on the following turn since carl is still behind on prizes And from there, we probably are just going to see an attack from this Vileplume. So Vileplume's attack isn't too great, but when your opponent can't do much to you, it's not too shabby. It's 60, and then it's a different special condition on a, on a coin flip. Uh, it looks like he got... Okay, it looks like he fell asleep with whatever uh, with whatever Carl flipped, because it's like one status condition for heads and a different one for tails. I forget which one's which. So here, this is a situation. Uh, I, I really wish we would have seen a retreat from from Gerald here and try to save this Malamar. And here we're going to see Lieutenant Surge's strategy get activated. So of course it's going to be that Stadium card. Or I'm sorry, not same, a Supporter card. Uh, if you're behind on prizes, you can play three supporters in a given turn. So basically two additional ones beyond the, uh, beyond the Lieutenant Surge. 
So yeah, that was a pretty impressive turn from Carl. He had the Faba, he had uh, Gardenia, it looked like, as well. So he's definitely in a pretty good spot here. And here, we're probably just going to see a couple of Psychic Recharges, and then just another 60 damage coming down on the Spile Plume. And here it looks like we're going to see a Mysterious Treasure just dumping the Sigil of GX. And yeah, Gerald's deck is getting pretty low. I honestly think he might have lost this one. I just did remember too, he can't even use Tapu Cure GX at some point. I was thinking that was going to be a late game option for him, but... You know, he can't even attack. It's it's not that the Vileplume doesn't take damage from basics, it's that base Pokemon can't attack while Vileplume is in the act. So, so the Tapu Lele play I mentioned earlier in the video, that is not going to really be relevant here. <laughs> and yeah, we're just going to see, you know, this Vileplume start to whittle away at these uh, Malamars that we have here. And we're going to see Psychic Recharge. And probably just see a Retreat and just another 60 on this uh, Vileplume, if I had to assume. Uh, here we are going to see an escape board just to make the retreat cost a little bit easier on this Malmar. And that, that's fine. And 60 damage. So Gerald's no doubt thinking you better not have a third last chance potion. <laughs> uh, but we do see the Gardenia. So that is definitely still going to be an option for Carl here. So we're going to see a couple of Vulpix hit the bench. Okay. And a Gardenia from the active. So if that's the case, I actually wouldn't mind seeing Gerald take a couple of knockouts on these uh, Vulpix. Or maybe using this as a potential turn to Guzma Vulpix and use Tapu Lele to use uh, Tapu Cure GX healing off of these Malamars. So we do see the Guzma in hand, so I definitely like that potential play. So it looks like... We are seeing some energy coming down on Giratina, however. And we are going to see the retreat into the Lele. And we're going to see another recharge. And a Guzma. Wait, did Gerald recharge three times here? Or did the Giratina already have an energy? Or, or maybe it was his attachment for a turn. Uh, I didn't pay close enough attention there. But either way, he is going to take a knockout here. Uh, getting another kind of easy prize. And then we are going to see this Vile Plume attack this Giratina. Put it, making it confused, it appears. And let's see. What is Gerald going to do? He's used two Guzmas, I believe. So we could very well see another one come down at some point. But I'll we'll have to see what Gerald is going to do this turn. Didn't get a good look at his hand. He's going to dump this Choice Band to grab a Psychic Energy out of deck. I think I would have maybe preferred to see that remain in deck just to maybe help prevent decking out. But he might be thinking, you know, um, you know, decking out's probably going to happen either way. So I just shouldn't even worry about it. Uh, but here we're going to see a Plumeria. That's definitely going to be annoying here. So here Carl's going to dump a Professor Elm's Lecture and an Ultra Ball. And yeah, this is a pretty good turn because he can knock out this Malamar here with the Bile Plume and eliminating another energy from play. And at this point, I think that's basically all she wrote. If I'm Gerald, I'm probably scooping this one up. Yeah, and that's what it looks like they're going to do here. So yeah, this Vile Plume's lock was, you know, pretty oppressive. Even against the deck here that does run some type of like non-basic attacker. Uh, like Malmar, the last chance potions, Gardenias, all that was just a little bit too much for Gerald to overcome. But like I said, I think kind of Gerald's strategy here is uh, timing that Mars Shadow at the right time. So once Carl has a couple of these Oddishes in play and he goes for a Stevens to set up his hand, I think that's when you go for the Mars Shadow and then ideally take a knockout on the same turn as well. So here it looks like Gerald has a much better starter. He doesn't have to worry about that Necrozma GX being there. Inke is a much easier Pokemon to move out of the active and definitely a Pokemon you want in play as well. So no doubt too, after that first game, Gerald probably has a better grip on what he kind of wants to do in this matchup. 
So he has a mysterious treasure, and he looks like he might be getting rid of a Guzma. And honestly, I, I, I don't know how much I like that. He's going to need Guzma here at taking some cheap prizes throughout the course of this game. But here's going to go for an Inke. And an Ultra Ball as well. Getting rid of a second Guzma. And going for a Marsh Shadow. Oh man, that is rough. Maybe his Lele was prized, if that's the case? Because I think I would, would have much rather have seen just Lele come down, Lily refresh his hand to 8. Yeah, just dumping all of those Guzmas just feels really bad on the first turn, because he is going to need those, for sure, in order to close out this game, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, we see him have the, the Lele off of the Marsh Shadow as well. So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of, the, of this line of play from Gerald in this game. But to be fair to him, too, uh, this is not a deck you usually run into. So he's probably not as well prepared to deal with something like this Vileplume deck as he is for something like maybe Reshizard or, you know, Peak Rom. He's probably pretty well versed on how to deal with those types of decks. But this one, he just might be, uh, you know, just maybe not very confident against here. And we are going to see him dump Tapu Lele GX as well. So let's see what he can make happen in this game. Looks like he's just going to search out a Malamar. I think I would have preferred to see him save the Ultra Ball for next turn. That way he has a little bit more flexibility in terms of what he wants to discard as well. So yeah, I can't say I, I like Gerald's first turn here. Sorry, Gerald, if you are watching this video. Um, but nevertheless, he is still getting a lot of his engage in play. That's the big thing you definitely want with this, this whole deck. And... Just taking a look in Carl's hand, we do see a tap with with GX. We see Green's Exploration. So the Green's Exploration is definitely going to be good here. So he can, you know, no doubt search out a couple of Pokemon with Nest Balls and things like that. So let's see what he wants to grab, though. Uh, he definitely wants a Nest Ball. I think that's going to be the big card. That way he can ensure another Oddish hits the board uh, this turn. But beyond that, what else does he want to take? So he's going to go for an Ultra Ball as well. So probably saving the Ultra Ball just because he has Rare Candy in hand. He can use the Ultra Ball to grab himself a Vile Plume for next turn. And even though he doesn't have a lot going on, it it really doesn't matter too much. Once you get the Vile Plume you know, established, you're pretty much good to go. But, uh, you know, here, this is another one of those turns where if Gerald had saved the Marsh out, he'd be able to disrupt Carl and prevent him from getting this turn to Vileplume. But hopefully Gerald can at least get a knockout this turn. That would definitely be great here. So we're going to see, looks like a Choice Band come down on this Inke. We're going to see a Stretcher probably for Tapu Lele GX if he doesn't have a Supporter. So, yeah, that does look like what he is going to do. And so we might just see... Might just see a Cynthia here. Or if he can play down that last card in his hand, we'll probably see a Lily. But here he is just going to go for the Cynthia. Seems good. So he definitely needs to find himself some energy, a couple more Malamars. And ideally, he wants a way to knock out this Oddish this turn. That's the big thing he really wants to do here. And I believe I saw a treasure and then plenty of energy as well. So he might be able to make this happen. I'm not sure what the other cards in his hand were, but. So he would need an attachment, two recharges, and a switch. That would work. So we are going to see a treasure. So does he have a switch or an additional Malamar from there? I see a Giratina in his hand. Oh, and he does have another treasure. That's definitely good. And nice. Okay, so he can accelerate a third one and then hard retreat the active. Because I believe he had another energy. Because I think he drew three off of the Cynthia, if I remember correctly here. And yes, so he can hard retreat. He's playing his hand out to like basically nothing, but he is going to get a knockout here. Uh, you know, taking out the Osh would be very important. So again, this is a turn that that would have been really good if he was able to let loose and take this knockout. But here, 
Carl gets the vial plume and now he's pretty comfortable. He can also kind of just chill and uh, take a minute to do whatever he wants. He can also pretty safely bench this Layla. He's already seen two Guzmas hit Gerald's discard pile. So it looks like we might just see a Steven's resolve this turn. So we're going to see that, probably see an, maybe a counter gain or energy, another Oddish, and maybe even... A, okay, it looks like he is thinking about the last chance potion. So this... So let's see. It looks like he's definitely eyeing down the last chance potion, the Stevens, and maybe either an Oddish or an energy. Okay, so it looks like he does commit to the energy, no Oddish, but I don't think it's terrible either just because... He does already have this file plume in play. It's not getting knocked out anytime soon. He has the last chance potion as well, so this file plume will stay alive for a little bit. And that's a pretty good top deck too. Gets the Elm's Lecture if he does want to use that instead of Stevens' turn, so he could grab another Oddish. So I don't even hate that because he could yeah, so he, here he can lecture, he can grab himself an Oddish, maybe a couple of Vulpix just to thin him out of the deck. And he can attach and do 60 to this Malamar, and then next turn, whenever this Vile gets attacked, he can just use Last Chance Potion, heal it off, and then Stevens on that turn. So, yeah, I definitely like this, this line of play here on Carl's turn. So let's see which of the Pokemon he actually chooses to bench, however. And here it looks like they're discussing counter energy potentially. Not sure. But here he is going to go for just the 60 on the Malamar. And let's see, Gerald no doubt wants to power up this other Malamar. But does he have a way to do it? Does he have energy in the discard pile? Okay, here it looks like he might be thinking about sacrificing the Mars Shadow. And if that's the case, he actually might be in some trouble too, just because like Carl could even just say, that's fine, I'm just gonna let Mars Shadow sit here and we're just gonna use like, uh, I don't know, we can use take our time to use Faba, get rid of some spell tags, maybe use Plumeria, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm sure Carl doesn't mind seeing this at all, but uh, I, I understand why, why Gerald did this. He needed to get the energy back into the discard pile uh, to recharge onto a fresh Malamar for next turn. So let's see. It looks like Carl is eyeing himself down a Gardenia potentially. Uh, maybe, maybe you wouldn't mind seeing Countercatcher as well. We do see that in Carl's deck here. So let's see what he's going to go for. We do see Surge. He could even go for Surge. I don't, I don't hate that either. So he could go for like Surge, like Gardenia Lusamine. I don't think that sounds too bad either. Okay, I saw Grass Energy go in his hand. Beyond that, I didn't get a good look at the other two cards though. And so here Gerald is starting to power up another Malamar, and we're just going to see a pass back over to Carl here. So what are we going to see? We're going to see a Gladion come down, so there must be an important card in there that Carl wanted to see. It looks like his Faba is in there, so that's definitely going to be a card he wants to get. That way he can remove these spell tags from play, uh, maybe a skateboards as well. And here we're just going to see another swing from Vileplume doing 60 damage to this Mars Shadow. And so let's see. Gerald does get a spell tag, so he is going to get that down. But, uh, you know, Carl's probably just going to fob that thing away. And, yep, we're just going to see probably a knock oh and then Gerald just scoops it up uh you know I can't say I blame him these stall decks are definitely not the funnest to play against and uh you know in a very grindy finals here Carl is able to win this league cup so uh very appreciated to the players for sticking out as much as th this game as they did but I hope you guys did enjoy this recorded tournament series like I said too if you did miss the other top cut rounds I will have links down below in the description if you want to check them out 
But as usual, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you can, consider supporting this channel by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch from our online store, rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. But as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.